Turkey want to eat not the food, that's why we're here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So here we are at a northern restaurant in the Neiman area of Chiang Mai, which is kind of the up and coming area. Uh, I have no idea what was ordered, but a bunch of food is going to come there in a few minutes, so we're going to show you when it gets there. Starting off with some coconut water. Ice cold. One of the best things to wake you up. Frozen. Yeah, it's nice from Look at that. There's, they froze it overnight. <laughs> I'm gonna let Ann tell you what all these dishes are. We got vegetables, we got sausage, we got fish, we got mushroom soup. Yeah, this is I think pumpkin vegetable. Pumpkin? Yeah, the pumpkin. Pumpkin stems? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then the sausage, I think it's pork sausage, not a sausage. And this is called Nampik Nung. What's that? That's pork. Pork? That's a uh, fish. Yeah, this I is beef. And then uh, mushroom. Mushroom. Yeah. So, let's eat. Welcome to Northern Thailand cuisine. It's all here. <laughs> Now for our second course, we're gonna have one of my favorite Northern Thai dishes called Khao Soi. We're still in the Neiman area, and this is supposed to be the best Khao Soi place in the Neiman area. So really excited to eat it here. Oh yeah. Are they good to make it? Is that sweet? Fresh jelly. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sugar heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you this. Uh, I always thought it was some octopus drink. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's good. 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 Yeah, that's <laughs> so we weren't very uh, diverse in our choices. We all got chicken cow soy, but this is supposed to be really good, so let's dig in. Here I go, down the hatch. It's so mild, but such a blend of taste. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. So, how did you guys like the food here? Really good. Awesome. Very flavorful. Mm -hmm. Very good. Incredible. This place is called Khao Soi Neiman. So if you're ever in the Neiman Haman area of uh, Chiang, Chiang Mai, definitely come by. It's really good. I, I'd highly recommend it. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to one of my favorite wats or temples. We're outside of Chiang Mai up in the mountains and this is a sort of, of a forest monastery temple and it's called Wat Umong. We've been here before, actually we made a video of this place uh, probably about a year and a half ago. Uh, the reason it's one of my favorite places is because not only is it a forest uh, lot, but it's also got these caves. And when we go see the caves, I'm gonna tell you the story behind it. 
Uh, there's a lot of other interesting things here too. For instance, we're on this walkway where it gives you all these sort of um, sayings about everyday life, which is kind of cool. And there are also animals here, including deer and some other interesting sites. So let's check it out. Okay, we're about to go into the uh, caves. While we're walking around and showing you what it's about, I want you to think, well, why were these caves made? I think you'll find the answer kind of interesting. So let's take a walk through the caves. Why do you think these caves were built? I'll give you three guesses. Number one, was it to hide a treasure? Number two, was it for meditation, for deep meditation? Number three, something else. The answer is number three. Here's a real quick story. There was a monk who lived here who was getting old and he was a favorite of the king, the local king here who loved him. And the worry was the monk would wander the grounds of the, of the um, temple at night and people were really worried he's gonna wander off grounds and, and maybe get in trouble or get hurt or something. So the king built these caves and he actually, you can't see them anymore, but on the sides of the cave, they had bushes. So whoever's inside, especially if they're in some sort of altered state, would think they were actually wandering the grounds of the, of the place. So he built these caves actually for the monk to wander the grounds at night so he wouldn't leave the temple, just for his protection. Interesting story, huh? Let me know what you think. So what you see behind me is the chetty of the Wat. This is Wat Umong, but the whole Wat Umong was built around this chetty. We know the Wat is uh, over 600 years old, so I think this chetty is probably well over 600 years old. This chetty also has the biggest hornet's nest I've ever seen. You might be able to see it way up there, but it's a huge hornet's nest. Anyways, beautiful sight, and let's continue uh, walking around Wat Umong. Shopping time, here we are at Sunday Night Market. It's not night yet, but it's just opening up and the crowd is getting big and there's so much here to buy and eat. We're just starting, we can't wait to walk all the way down this road. So join us.
到你来，你去找一下我妈，你你妈会在这等着啊，你去吧。That's excellent, but excellent. But I just got some girls on my Man, did we eat a lot. Best street food I've had in a long time. Keep going.